Okay, what's up guys? So I'm gonna cut this really short because I actually, uh, it went from lengthening some wires to I actually built a whole new build. So I stayed up all night, it's the next day, I just finished it up. And um, yeah, so I just completely built a new one because if I really like it, I'm gonna hang it on my wall and just use it as a flyer. So, um, but, so I don't wanna waste no more time. Let's get out to Lexington, I'm gonna meet Ray and we're gonna get to do a little bit of flying guys. So we'll see you out there. Hey, Thurman, Thurman. Hey, you just, you just quit? All right. Shut up! That's how you do it. <laughs> nice, freaking metal slug. All right, here you go. Dude, my first a go on bonnet. a hoverboard. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, baby. Doing it like a like a boss. Oh, whoa. <laughs> so a lot of people has been asking me how Steel's been doing. <laughs> and uh, I have to say he's doing just fine. Dude, this is quite the setup you have here, Steel. I appreciate it. It's it's like my lair. It's it actually is. not done. It is becoming the layer. Along with the rest of the house, like slowly trying to get things together. I'm pretty far from being finished. The layer. Sure. Nice, we'll pack these things up, dude. We're gonna go. We're ready. Yeah. Okay, so we're about to head out to the field. But before we get started, for those that have asked me about the seven inch, which has been a quite a bit of people, the only thing we've changed here from the first video I made, because I know the second video I kind of changed up a lot of things, but we pretty much went back to the first video, is uh, I put on some bigger, beefier ESCs, because actually when you've seen my quad like fall, death spiral into nothing, um, it was because we roasted an ESC. So really we're using the same motors, the same build, maybe a different PDB and flight controller and stuff like that just due to time. But um, it's almost pretty much the same, just with some stronger ESCs. So um, we're going to go over that. So me and Ray's heading out to the field now. And uh, I'm going to test flight with some 6 inch props and you'll see some flight from that. And then I'm going to sling on the 7 inch props. Because I ordered 47 inch props and I was handed 4. So we're going to test it first on 6 and uh, then we'll get into the seven inch prop but that's it right there all right so let's pack up we're getting on we're we need to make haste because we're running out of daylight dude look at this thing with these massive props on it ah that looks amazing i'm running the uh gym fan 7038s because i tried the hq uh 7045 last time and i didn't like them at all and so uh, the 78 is going to work, 38 is going to work for now. So I'm going to test over it and then we're going to get some uh, footage. This one's got to go back to the drawing board. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, what's up, guys? So I'm back in the truck. We just left the field. Uh, obviously, it's dark, and uh, we let we lost light. And uh, the seven inch, yeah, it was kind of a smash. Um, I got some more tuning to do and I didn't have strong video at, at all I got the worst luck with video transmitters besides using the one I comfortably use and so that's my fault So I'm gonna hit the bench back with it uh, tonight in a couple days here in a couple days I'll have a new video with it and I'll make sure everything's running because I kind of really rushed this one and uh, We'll make sure it works and actually get some flight because even though the flying the flying I was doing with it It was still really cool. So um, well, I'll get it back going and uh, the seven inch continues. So uh, we'll see you here in a few days, guys. So uh, peace.